Hello and welcome to this Red Gamer Tech video. Myself and Marta, as always, I am here with the latest from the tech world and we have quite a bit from Camp AMD today. And the first of which is going to be regarding Threadripper 2. Now, of course, we've been discussing a lot about what's going to be happening with Ryzen over the next generation, but obviously at Computex 2018, AMD did announce Threadripper 2. And now we have a rather interesting leak thanks to HWBot, as we have had some SKUs listed. So we have three leaked SKUs here, one of which we already knew was a thing, the Threadripper 2990X, the 32 core flagship part, but we have a new addition in the form of a 24 core Threadripper 2970X, as well as a previously leaked 16 core 2950X. So essentially what we have here is obviously one we already knew exists, a brand new entry, and then one we've had leaked previously. The third one obviously is, is a leak that we've had, so it's not an official confirmation, but the fact that there's a, another leak containing it obviously lends credence to the very first one. Now what's actually further interesting about this is that we do have some information on the specifications of these SKUs thanks to the HWBOT leak. Again, if these are true, we do have, according to these specs, the 16-core Threadripper 2950X requiring only 125 watts. And again, according to these specs, the 16-core, the new one, is 300 megahertz slower than the current Gen 16-core. And finally, according to this leak, the 2990X is going to be having a TDP of 250 watts. So you might be wondering, okay, that's a bit weird. Why is the new Threadripper 16 core going to be technically slower, you know, 300 megahertz slower, but still slower than the current Gen 16 core? It's hard to say why that might be, but what we should definitely keep in mind here is that, at least on the HW bot listing, the XFR speed, or obviously basically the, the boost clock of this, is not actually listed. We only know the base clock. So I'll not be surprised to see the boost being identical. So you're only going to be seeing that ever so slight reduction, again, if these are accurate, in the base speed. Interestingly, however, these are not the only leaks we actually have for Threadripper 2 today. We've had several mysterious SKUs being spotted by some sharp-eyed users over on Reddit itself. And these listings are actually on the official AMD page. Now, if you click the links, and I will include a link to this in the description below this video, do keep in mind, of course, that they may be removed and all that sort of stuff in the future, but it is there for your perusal. Um, they do lead to a page. There's just no information on them. So it's a safe assumption that these are SKUs that are a, a real thing that exists, but perhaps they've been revealed before they should have been, or AMD are just kind of going teasing, saying, hey, do you do you wonder what we're cooking here? Because, you know, you probably do, right? 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 So what do we actually have? Well, we have a rather, cu rather curious entry for our first one, which is the 2990WX and then the 2970WX as well. So you're obviously thinking, okay, so that's clearly some sort of, like, new variant on the 2990X. You know, it's not doesn't take a brain surgeon to figure that out, but what does the W actually mean? There's theories floating around that it could be a water-cooled variant and that would actually make the most sense and obviously that would apply to the second one as well but those aren't the only SKUs we actually have being posted by AMD as we also see the 2950X and 2920X being listed as well. So the W thing with the previous SKUs is pure speculation it just is worth mentioning because it does make sense you know it could be sort of sort of like hey here's a water cooled version or maybe it could be like a souped up version we just don't know it could even be a mistake that's also possible, but I definitely think it's going to be uh, some sort of variant and what's called, again, would make sense, but that is pure speculation. For all I know, it means we'll give you free cookies when you buy this one. Obviously, that's not what it means. I'm just saying it could literally mean anything and it's really hard to say. Just trying to go with what would be logical. So the most mysterious out of all these chips is the 2920X, and we literally don't know anything about it other than the fact that it has that name, and apparently it is a thing that exists because, well, AMD themselves have listed it on their actual official website. But I would argue that a reasonable assumption is that it's going to be a 12-core replacement to the 1920X, and it's probably going to be another fairly low TDP addition to the Threadripper lineup of probably 125 watts or around that sort of margin. That would make sense for this particular entry into the Threadripper SKU lineup. 
would also kind of line up with its naming convention. I don't actually mean to make that uh, link there with the wordplay, so do forgive me. But yeah, that would make sense, but of course, for all I know, it's, it's not that at all. So what about the 2950X, I hear you ask? Well, it is going to have 16 cores and 32 threads, just like its predecessor, which is obviously the 1950X, but it is actually going to have a much lower TDP of, again, 125 watts, which in comparison to the previous generation is a rather nice saving in terms of power consumption. You might go, oh, okay, that, that must be it now for Threadripper, surely, you know, it's, it's, it's leaking like, you know, something that leaks a lot, a bucket with holes in. I don't really think they're through. <laughs> in seriousness, so we actually have a benchmark, or sorry, a CPU-Z uh, screenshot, should I say, having been leaked as well. So that's going to be our next segue. And this actually does tie in with these mysterious SKUs that we have just seen listed as we have a listing for the 2990WX. So we do actually kind of get a little bit of a peek under the hood, again, if this is accurate, as to what's going on here. Now, I just want to say before we actually get into what's going on with what we can see here, I just want to say that this was thanks to videocards.com and one of their internal sources. So I am, of course, going to link their article in the description below this video if you want to go check out the source for this, it will be there for you. So according to what video cards are saying, there is a CPU-Z screenshot, as I've already said. It is going to be running on, or is running, should I say, on the MSI's X399 MEG creation. And the source is claiming that the chip shown in the screenshot was provided by AMD. So it's a fairly safe assumption that it's an re early review sample, engineering sample, or something of that nature given to this person. And again... The screenshot showcases, according to the source, a boost of 4.1 GHz in precision boost mode for the 2990WX. Unfortunately, the source did not have anything to say as to what the W might mean. So what do we actually see in the CPU-Z screenshot? Well, it will be showing on screen. It has a lot of interesting information, which I've pretty much already gone through in terms of the core speed and all that sort of stuff. So it is rather interesting that we've kind of had two simultaneous leaks on the same thing. Unfortunately, we still don't know, as I already said, what the W means, but it's a nice little peek at the performance as to what could be going on here, assuming there are no differences in terms of the specs of the 2990WX and the Vanilla X. We are also, of course, getting a look at the X as well, but again, that is based on that assumption. So for our final topic, we're actually going to move away from Camp AMD and to something mobile related, as we have something regarding Qualcomm and Snapdragon. And according to this report, the Snapdragon 855 actually entered mass production around June, which, as you may or may not recall, is around the same sort of time that TSMC actually entered mass production for its 7nm node. Now, this report comes to us thanks to a Roland Quant, or Qu or quaint, I'm not actually sure on the pronunciation there to be honest with you, who is of Win Future. And according to him, they are, that being Qualcomm, looking to upgrade the high-end Snapdragon 855. And of course, the timing definitely raises an eyebrow, it definitely makes you wonder if Qualcomm are actually going to be using the 7nm node for this particular chip. Now, as you may or may not recall, the Snapdragon 855 is actually intended for products coming out in 2019, so it does definitely raise a question mark as to why they're actually entering mass production for these chips so soon. And again, that does kind of tie into the sort of question as to whether or not they're going to be using 7nm. But of course, there are other possibilities. And the more realistic one is that it's going to be something along the lines of the Snapdragon 821. And for those of you who keep your ears to the ground for anything mobile, will recall that the 821 did not make a process jump, but it did make sure that Google was the first OEM to have its hands on it. According to Roland's information, and again he has been fairly active and accurate when it comes to this sort of thing in the past, we are going to be seeing the 855 being Qualcomm's very first 7nm chip. But rather curiously, he also says that it's not going to have 5G. So they're going to make this fairly significant step forward onto 7nm and then not have 5G as well. It's all a little bit strange and all, of course, based on reports. So take with it, take it with, excuse me, <laughs> a pinch of salt. 
Especially because this does not really line up with how they normally do things in terms of their production schedules and all that sort of thing. Now it could be that, you know, someone like Google or whoever has, you know, give them a incentive to change things up a little bit or perhaps things are going better than they expected in terms of actually getting the 7nm node where they want it to in their devices. It's really hard to say as if this report is true as to why they've broken away from their normal schedule but the fact that it is outside of the norm for them does kind of add another sort of mark in the this isn't true column but Again, with all rumors and reports, because there's so much going on here, there could be one nugget of true information here. Perhaps that's 7nm, perhaps it isn't. It could be 5G for all we know. And the rest is either incorrect or outdated or what, what have you. So we should definitely take the whole thing with a pinch of salt, but I will be surprised to see one thing turn out to be true and the rest is, is, is false based on old information or whatever it happens to be. So that's me pretty much done for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I just want to apologize now, really, for my voice as I was a little bit croaky. Uh, actually attend a family wedding just yesterday and didn't go to sleep till quite late so I do apologize for sounding a little bit hoarse but thank you for bearing with me and thank you of course for watching do remember to like and subscribe it does really help out a great deal but as always your support does mean a huge deal to both myself and Paul so thanks again bye bye